That is loud. Right, we're back again. Playing FIFA, Newcastle career mode, second episode. Second pre-season friendly against Celta Vigo. I haven't signed anyone at all yet. Don't know if I'm even trying to sign any players, I'm not really sure at the minute. Don't know who I should I wouldn't be a bad signing. I think a striker definitely need. Apart from that, I don't really need a lot else. How much money did we have? We've got 30 mil. 120k in budget. So, see how that goes. The next game. I'm already there, I can't do any transfers. What I might do is actually change it to five minute a half. I felt like that first one I did was way too quick. Still on world class. Five minutes. Actually, change the ball. Oh, look at that. I like that. But Change the team up a little bit. The Arme can start for Moreno. Murphy can start for Atsu. Get Rolando Aaron's on the bench. Uh, Jocelyn. Um, I'll probably do, to be honest. Start Soleimani up front for Gale. Gale was pretty poor in the first game, so you definitely need another striker. Gale, Soleimani, Perez, and Jocelyn. And Perez isn't really even a striker, he's a centre attack of mid, so definitely need a striker at least. I just remembered I need to move the camera. Um, Right, let's get into this. Well, welcome again to the European International Cup. This the European International we Cup. We are at the second match stage for you. Well, obviously the players aren't fully match fit, but uh, under the spotlight of the cameras this and a lot of supporters, you expect to put in a good performance. It's not always easy. Today, it's Celta Vigo against Newcastle United. Celta will play like this today. This is their 11 players. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? My controls yeah, I mean, don't feel can right. Be adjusted. It could almost right. be a 4-5-1 if they, they decide to come over more defensive, this team. But uh, 
If they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Newcastle United, two changes for them. Oh, Andre Yedlin, Jason Mankio as the wide defenders. Mohamed Diame starts with John Joe Shelby in the centre of the park. And a partnership with these two strikers up front. Now this looks promising. Mohamed Diame. Go on, Sulemane, just run. Striding forward, purposefully. Put in from the wide area. Oh, you just got to shoot, Perez. What are you doing? Uh, it will be a throw. It's gone out of that player there. But now they've got the ball. What are they going to do with it? A nice touch from Shelby. John Joe Shelby. And then he gives it away. And coming forward with some danger. Now the shot! Oh, what a good try off the outside the of the post. Certainly caught it, and I don't think the keeper was getting across to that. The manager just oh, hoping like that that miss is not going to come back to haunt them. They are creating chances, but that was a costly miss. Daniel Vass. And well, they've got the ball back now in the middle of the field. Sisto. Probably need Good another forward play from field, them. He's very confident the with the ball at his feet. And Moreno, his block here. Nice in the field. Kennedy. Cabral. I just don't feel it's as confident as I did in the first game. I feel a lot better about the first game than this game. This definitely feels like it might be a struggle as I say that. And shoots! Oh, the post I hit the post again. This might not be my game. And it's gone out of play there. This might not be my game. That's a wasted throw. I mean, give it to the opposition. That was yeah, the weakest shot there, I've ever seen from one. Perez. Here's a chance to attack. He's got his shot off now. Offside well, call, and we can see again now. Okay. That looks a good call. Yeah, I think it was. And in the end, not a difficult one because there was a couple of yards in it, I think. Working the ball around, working the opposition around. That's good movement forward pressure here. Pressure and then counter attack. I feel like that's what Safety my team's all about. That interception. Now Kennedy. Mankio, looking for teammates in the middle, and there it is, the goal. I don't know what that defending was, but I'll take that lead all day. top of his game into the attacking third Sisto Sisto tackling then and there's the cutback oh Ooh. that's easy for the goalkeeper Space. Oh, he's got a pass quicker than that. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass.
Cabral. The return ball. Thirty nine percent. Really trying to use the full width of the pitch here to there. make some progress. So John Joe Shelby. Know it's going to be like against the big teams. Crowd uh, not even maybe touch expected the a bit more, but it's two added minutes. <coughs> I feel like I'm literally just getting lucky at the minute. The first game was probably luck and so is this. Come the start of the season, I'll get relegated or something like that. The half -time score. I don't really know what so expectations I have, to be fair. It's got to be top 10, on it? First season with Newcastle, top 10. Maybe a little trophy run. Might get Suleimani off, he hasn't done a lot. Get Orlando Aaron's on. Richie. Moreno. Uh, I'm sure I took off the sales last time to take off him, Bemba. And we'll actually give Darlow a little run out, why not? Here we go into the second half of this second match in the group stage. Yeah, looking forward to it. It was uh, quite a closely run affair, so uh, I wonder if that will continue in this second half. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. Daniel Vass. Could be a chance here. They've got the ball into a good area. I definitely need another striker. I'm probably really not looking at the right strikers, to be honest. I need someone who's going to bang in goals for me no matter what. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. With good vision. It's an excellent cross. Yes, Darlo, coming for that nicely and then giving it away nicely. On to the attack now. The cross is long. That was the back. Vass. It's a good time for goal. Oh, Barlow's keeping me in it, isn't it? On the bench for the losing team, a substitute getting ready to come off. In goes the corner. Oh. And the goalkeeper read it easily. All right. Play it out. Go on, Yedlin. Run down that wing. And that's where the free part of the pitch is in the wide areas. And he's got there. Oh, Aaron's coming in at the back post. That can be a throw. Substitution coming up. Ego Aspas. John Joe Shelby. It was good oh, play until they got that challenge in. Sick. Throw in now. Daniel Vass. Neatly intercepted. Good play, one on one. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Back him in. I actually kept that in. Let's what give you ball. some transfer Look news. It play. involves Liverpool. Took it who have confirmed that this deal is completed. Yeah, you're listening to the manager over the last few weeks. He seemed determined to secure the services of the lad. And that was. The club have backed him up with that about £75 million pounds they paid. They didn't pay £75 million for him in real life, did they? They paid like 50 it, I think. Sisto. Play back. Some options now for the pass. Sisto. Vass. Hernandez. Vass. 
He's absolutely delighted with that, and why wouldn't you be scoring on your they debut? They just literally played it around me with ease. Fantastic from the neutral point of view that the game is level Look at again. This. Just easy to, to finish. Right near the penalty spot, Look at it. and all my it defenders are just very well there. taken. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. It's Manquillo. John Joe Shelby. See, if I kept it on four kick. minutes off, the game would probably be over by now. That's probably why I had it on four minutes now and I'd get like a sneaky wins. Poor on, Moreno. And he shoots from long range. Uh, Brave to take that on, Alan. He wasn't far away. He's got a history of finding the back of the net from these distances. Does he? Does he really? Daniel Vass. Getting forward well as a team now. What is going on? Just tackling. Good run towards the near post. Looked very good indeed, but the move was broken. Not exactly down. what I planned, but I the back got up it out. The is going to have a chance centre stage. And that goalkeeper can just saunter out and pick that up. Running. Whether the loudest oh, support will come on, push Gale. one team get the to get the right. win that they're looking for. Yeah, you just wonder how this match will pan out now, whether the home team will be doing all the attacking and it will be uh, a rear guard action from the visitors. Sisto. Sisto. Not trying to catch this cross. He's punched it away. Great punch. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Delivered into the box. What is he doing? What was that all about? Get it out. Is this going to end level or are we going to get a winner in the closing minutes? It'd be tough for any team to lose this, but what a win it would be if there is a successful side. I can't get past their defence at all. I'm Two minutes in left, this game. that's added time. I know I changed quite a few players at half time, but still, it's only so well, they're on the should attack be beating again. them. Running out of time, the scores are level. And they've Could had like all the, the ball. Level as the referee That's blows it. The whistle for the Draw. last time. It should keep me top of the table. Well, still, we've I been think. kept on the edge of our seats right Maybe. to the very end. Look like there might be a winner. To be for fair, I did hit the post twice in this game, so. Two shots off the post. Shelby first. Yeah. What a good try off the outside of the post. Certainly caught it, and I don't think the keeper. And then Suleimani hits the post. And shoots. Struck the post here. Just unlucky, really. My goal was so lucky. Manquillo. Looking for teammates in the middle. Poor defender, but they might have been just no better for their goal, so... I guess it kind of works out, really. They had six shots, two on target, 38% possession. They had seven shots, five on target, 62% possession. I made no tackles the entire game. No fouls, obviously, if I had no tackles, I had no fouls. Shot accuracy 33%, pass accuracy 79. That was poor. I was poor in that game. Hopefully, the season doesn't go like that, or this will not be very good. Let's have a quick look at the transfer stuff before we finish up. I don't know if I actually put in a bid for I Do I try get a midfielder? I don't know. I might be able to sign like Jack Wiltshire or something on the cheek just to have another midfielder. Because he's 
should be coming to the last tree of his deal, but so's Urzel, isn't he? Urzel's definitely not a realistic signing. Maybe it's not it's not Urzel then. Who was it? I'm sure there's another Arsenal player. Maybe I just imagined it. Only an 80 overall now. I actually sent no I haven't sent any offers Bannings. do a little negotiating they want nine million for him Going a bit low, see what happens. See if they want to get rid of him. Thirteen point three. That's a bit pricey. Nine three. That's over its value. Thirteen three. Ten million. I don't really want to go much higher than that, to be honest. I think that's a fair deal. Oh, they're going to take some time to consider it. I've upset Jurgen Klopp. Oh no. Rondon. I'm only getting Rondon because we literally have signed him in real life. Apart from that, I would never really get him. Oh, for nine million for Rondon. Ah, oh, I think I've overpaid. Definitely overpaid for Rondon. Right, he's coming into the last twelve months of his contract, so. I oh know it's usually in the sixth month you can get him quite cheap. But 12 mil. See if they even look at it. 15 for 7, see. I don't have to pay anywhere near his value. Go 13 million. Here we go, Jack Wiltshire for 13 mil. I could even sell him on if I want. So there's my two players that I'm going to get in. Rondon and Wiltshire. And maybe a couple of youngsters. Yeah. Like talented youngsters. Actually, there is a player I do want. Only because I know he does get really good. Who does he play for again? Um... Justin Clover. I might as well just get every youngster that plays for Ajax pretty much. And Frankie's meant to be good. That mean we've had all the Diddy Jones. Actually, no, we haven't. We never had Marge Diddy Jones. We had him. I thought Ajax had more players than this. Like, crazy good youngsters. I'm gonna scout a few. Hunter, I used to love signing Hunter. I could just sign him for the. Ah, oh, he's recently arrived. He's not gonna be worth hardly anything soon enough. back into the transfer hub quickly I'm 
Um, oh, I'm going to have to sort, yeah. I have to sort out their wages before I think about doing anything else. Hmm, hello, Mr. Jack Wilkshire. 98 grand a week. Oh, my. I make him crucial or important, not important. All he wants to be, look at his face, he's not happy. He is not happy with that. I want him for a five year deal. Yeah, of course you would want five years. Actually, I propose like a stupid one. 60 mil. 37. I'm buying him for 13. Uh, would anyone activate? Yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm happy with the release clause. 37.1, that's fine. If anyone wants to pay that, I've made money. 100 grand a week. That's fair. Of course it's fair, Jack Wilshire. Love it. need to sort out my budget. So we've now got Jack Wilkshire in the squad. How much did I just... 9 million, wasn't it? Yeah, I hope he's not on a lot of wages, Rondon, or I might not actually be able to even afford him. Shit. I'm happy with my signings. Actually, genuinely, really happy. Jack Wiltshire and Rondon. And I don't think they're out of the realms of possibility for Newcastle. Rondon clearly isn't. And Jack Wiltshire is at West Ham now. So. Important. Oh, he agrees. I think Rondon's not anywhere near as good on this game as I think he is. I'm slightly worried. Five year deal. Saw Newcastle. Wait, no. Four-year deal then. Newcastle love a five-year deal. Disregard. Ten goals, he wants 1.25 million. Leaves me with nothing. That's literally it. That's all I could afford was these two guys. Um. No, I don't agree with the bonus Let me offer he's eager to join the club of course he's eager to join the club that's two signings in the door ready for the next game let's get him in the squad Jack Wilkshire uh, oh, that's actually a hard choice. I kind of like my Diame at the minute in my team. Jostlu, just get Jostlu out. Uh, you haven't really got a defensive midfielder out of the two of them, have you? Could you imagine them two as a midfield pair? And I don't think it would go down very well at all. It's all English, though. All English midfield pairing. You got the Brazilian out left. Where is Atsu actually from Ghana? Okay then. Oh, I didn't check Rondon's overall. What is he? What is he? He's a 77. Paid 9 million for a 77 overall. Um, yeah, swatch it. I swap him for Gale. I swapped him real life, so. I need to get rid of some of these fringe players. I mean, my squad's not very big at all. I'm happy with the signings, but my squad's really not that big. Captain Lasseau's Perez on penalties. Yeah, I agree with all of that. Um, give him some numbers and then call it a day. 
but what numbers are we going to give these guys? If I can even find where you change the numbers. Um, what number have they been given? Okay, well, she got 24. And Rondon 28. Change kit number. I think I'm definitely going to give Jack Wilkshire number four. And Rondon doesn't look like he's going to get any good number. Number 39. Where's Jack Wilkshire? Wilkshire can be four. Or five. Uh, yeah, I'll keep him number four. We will go with that. And that is how the squad is ending on episode two. Well, I knew a draw in this game, and we were actually dominated, so these signings are actually a good sign. Rondon and Wook give us something. If they didn't, then we're actually screwed for the season, pretty much. But yeah, this looks like the starting lineup at the minute for the first game. I don't actually know who the first game is against. And, uh, Tottenham. Oh no, Tottenham at home. And our next game against Hertha Berlin. I actually like our friendlies, our friendlies have been pretty decent. Wolfsburg, Celta Vigo and Hertha Berlin. That's not bad. But yeah, just building for that Tottenham game, first game of the season. Yeah, that looks like the team that's going to do it. Dubravka, Yedlin, Lascelles, Mbemba, Menkeo, Kennedy, Shelby, Wilkshire, at Rondon. I hope Rondon is a good signing because I paid 9 million for him and if he's not, I'm not going to be happy. But yeah, and that'll call it for episode 2.